Hey, it's Tori, and welcome to you, or welcome back to my channel. Today we're going back to the band Within Temptation. They just dropped a brand new single about a week ago called Wireless. Now, I did just want to read a little bit of what Sharon has said about the song. She said, Wireless is a song about a soldier who goes to war convinced that he's going for a good cause. He's indoctrinated by government controlled media and thinks he's going to be welcomed back um, as a savior only to find out he has been used. This has resulted in people seeing him as a brutal, brutal conqueror instead and now he finds himself on the wrong side. His life and the lives of many are deceived and destroyed. Which, you know, it it happens. Um, of course it happens, it, especially like <clears throat> World War Two and, and, you know, the bigger war, well, any war, I'm, I'm sure it happens where, you know, they're, they're like, come fight for your country and, and you know, all this stuff. And, and, you know, me being British and living in America and living in a military town, you know, they're very proud of... Their military and and their their veterans and and I think they should, of course they should be you know those people put their lives on the line for their country um but of course being a Brit and growing up somewhere where I never saw anybody in uniform and, and then my dad and my granddad were both army and they they never spoke about their service was you know was really weird so <laughs> I can kind of see I see both sides of it um I don't want to get political with it because I'm not here to do that and um, of course the song is probably going to go into that so we will discuss it a little bit but yeah we'll see we'll see how it goes and I'm excited to hear more within Temptation another band I am dying to see live and <laughs> um, I know they just they toured with uh, Iron Maiden quite a quite maybe about a year or so ago but it was just it was so expensive there isn't, I, I'm not a huge Maiden fan, uh, that's gonna like upset some of you, but it's just not something I grew up listening to, it's not something I've ever dived deep into, like I think Bruce Dickinson has a wonderful voice, don't get me wrong, but it's just not something I know well, so honestly I was only really gonna go for Within Temptation, of course we'd have stayed for Maiden, but just those prices were insane and at that time we just couldn't afford them, so with that said and out of the way, let's uh, dive right in and uh, check this song out together. Ah, uh, okay. Looks like it's based in Russia. It's the ultimate sacrifice Like a god you threw the dice And then you left us all wireless that riff was for within temptation that is heavy <laughs> but i love it i absolutely love it and i think this is a brave thing to do and to put out there especially this type of visualizer where you can tell where it's based from with the type of buildings they have in the background and everything that is going on over over there right now oof oof Wow. 
I just got goosebumps from that riff. We're going to go back into it. I just wanted to touch on how Sharon was singing about you never cared for us. And it does feel like that sometimes. Of course, I am not a veteran. I've never been in the military, so I can't really speak on it. But I have heard in the news and things like that of veterans just not being taken care of as they should be. And, you know, they... It just brings to mind the line from Systems of a Down's BYOB uh, of uh, why don't presidents fight the war? Why do they always send the poor? Which is true. Like, the only president that I have seen that's been smack dab in the middle of things has been the Ukrainian one. And, and, and he's, you know got a lot of my respect for being there and for being in the middle of it for his people because you don't see that you don't Sharon's voice in this, <laughs> as always, is extremely stunning. And uh, I feel myself tearing up just because, you know, these kids, these babies that are that are growing up in this. And then, of, of course, on one side, they're just being, as Sharon said in that paragraph, indoctrinated into thinking that this is normal, that this is OK. And then you've got babies growing up, it's children growing up in war zones. And I can't speak on that because I, you know, my life is first world problems. You know, I, I don't, I honestly, there's nothing I should be personally complaining about ever. Because I have easy. I have a roof over my head. I have running water. I have got electric. I've got a husband that works extremely hard. You know, and, and I don't live in a war zone. I don't live somewhere where there's s rage sirens going off all the time and it just it makes me think of of course ignia the band because they're ukrainian and of course they are they just brought out a new album like not to go off within temptation but they're in they're in this and i, I got to speak with hell who is the lead singer of ignia and and just she was so calm and collective and I just, I couldn't imagine the terror that she must feel like deeply inside every day and, and, and trying to film music videos with a generator and go through several checkpoints just to get to the studio. Blows my mind. And that's like, that's why I just, I have so much respect for Ignea and for what they're going through. But we're not talking about Ignea. We're back to within temptation. I th again, I think this is truly a brave, a brave song to put out there, especially right now. And I think it's needed right now. It, this type of thing needs to be addressed, and it needs to be seen by bigger artists like this. Like they've never been afraid to be political, and I love that for them. I do. Thanks. Thanks. 
the butt. What an absolutely stunning piece of art. The video was absolutely gorgeous and needed, absolutely needed. The song is so very powerful with such a poignant message that we just, those of us who don't live in that and aren't experiencing that need to see because I take my life for granted every single day. I try not to. But, you know, there's always going to be times when I complain about something and, and I shouldn't. I, I shouldn't. It breaks my heart. Absolutely breaks my heart. But I just, I really loved how heavy they went with this because I feel it needed that heaviness to push the message across even more so. And then with Sharon's absolutely stunning voice on top of that, I really don't need to say much else on that. I, I know you guys. <sighs> I'm actually kind of speechless by it. <laughs> and I don't really know what to say. So I'm just going to wrap it up. But don't forget to like and subscribe to become a Tetorian. <laughs> Speak of becoming a Torian. All of my social media links and my Discord link are down in the description. We'd absolutely love to have you come hang out in the Discord community. And I will see you guys in the next video. Rock on.